unlike any other creature that we have yet covered. These organized or disorganized creatures have been called an invasion force of ravenous, chaotic carnage, fueled by nothing but bloodlust and their stomachs. These feral humanoids strike without any warning whatsoever throughout the plains, the frontier, and borderlands. They attack like a biblical plague a locust, wreaking mayhem, murder, and slaughtering everything in its path, leaving behind nothing but the burned-out husks of homes and the gnawed bones of their victims to serve as a reminder of their passing through. Only those who think that they are fortunate enough to survive the brutal raping of villages and the countryside farms become slaves, and then later on their dinner, of course. I am referring to today's monster, the Knoll. Greetings to everybody out there in the YouTube multiverse. Rod here. Now you're going to notice from time to time I'll be looking down. That's because these lights are cutting right across my glasses. As you know, I started playing D&D back in the summer of 1978, and I was instantly hooked. Now, in the original 1974 release, uh, Dungeons and Dragons Book 2, A Monsters and Treasure by Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson, gnolls are described as the following. A cross between gnomes and trolls, with a plus two morale. Otherwise, they are similar to hobgoblins. Although the Null King and his bodyguard of, say, from one to four, will fight as trolls, but lack regenerative power. Since that publishing, they have evolved into something quite completely different. With life expectancy of up to 35 years, <clears throat> standing roughly seven and a half feet tall, weighing around 300 pounds, and having the striking resemblance to the hyena, gnolls have a grayish skin, hair of uh, a dirty gray or greenish gray that covers their bodies, and it gets darker the closer it gets to their muzzle with a short reddish gray to dull yellow mane, dark black eyes, and dirty yellow or amber colored nails. Gnolls are nomadic creatures that rarely stay in one place for any period of time, often seen traveling with hyenas, which are primarily kept for pets and guarding or hunting animals attacking and pillaging settlements without any warning whatsoever. Gnolls are known to adorn their armor, weapons, and even their encampments with the bones, ears, fingers, scalps, and teeth of their victims. Don't even attempt to bribe or reason with a knoll. Only the foolish will even attempt to bargain or parlay for their lives. They have absolutely no compassion whatsoever, while laughing right in your face as another one is running you through with a spear from behind. Fueled by bloodlust, gnolls are an enemy to all who reside in the lands. They even fight among themselves if the need arises. Not even the most crazed of bugbears hobgoblins, ogres, orcs, or even trolls, for that matter, will even dare to attempt to ally with a knoll. Because, of course, the knoll will turn on them in a minute as soon as it gets hungry enough to. Now, tribes of knolls are ruled by their strongest member, using fear, intimidation, and brute strength to remain their chieftain. Now, if a chieftain is slain, only the strongest of gnolls in the tribe will fight each other 
until one of them has to be declared the ruler. Now, if these chieftain trials take too long, or a bunch of them die, then the tribe has a great chance of breaking up into smaller numbers of bands that will part ways, and they might never group up again. These tribes are sometimes referred to as rapacious, or maybe aggressively greedy. Sometimes two or more bands will on occasion join together to fight, loot, and even form large raiding parties. They know through this they will get a greater chance of success against a larger common foe or even large groups of potential victims. Gnolls don't have clerics or druids in their society, but they do revere the phases of the moon. They have an unending devotion to the demon lord Iagnu. Through their brutal rituals, they are driven to commit savage acts of butchery while using longbows to puncture their armor and wielding spears to run through their enemies. These carnivorous nocturnal hunters had dark vision and loved to hear the screams of their victims. They attack those that they view as more intelligent than themselves just to prove that they are more superior and stronger than they are. Using horde style tactics and utilizing overwhelming numbers, they quickly knock down their victim stance and rip through a crowd like you would not believe. They have little to no discipline unless they consider their leader to be strong and one that can organize them to perform, say, ambush attacks, while two other squads attack in flanking positions all at once. These maneuvers remind me of how assault troops or even strike troops are trained in the military. Once they have taken down a target, they will immediately dash to another until everyone's dead. It is said that gnolls have a dark origin. When the demon lord Inagu made his way to the material plane, he rampaged out of control. He was quickly followed by packs of ordinary hyenas who were feasting on the victims of the demon lord. Shortly after, these hyenas were morphed into the first gnolls. Following Inagu up until the time he was exiled back into the abyss. All the gnolls were then spread across the countryside as a grim reminder. Another source states that gnolls were once thieves who were exiled into the desert lands. They were faced with starvation and they ate the meat of hyenas. Now, forsaken the taboos of their tribes, they were punished for disobeying the laws of both man and gods. The desert cursed them with the blood of hyenas, condemning them to be outcasts forever. What origin stories have you guys heard? Tell me down below in the comments. There you have it. Gnolls are forced to be reckoned with. Tall, humanoid-like creatures driven by bloodlust and the love of their deity. How would you use these malicious creatures? And over here are a couple of links to other videos that we've made. And like always, all of our sources are cited down below in the description area. We have direct links to DriveThruRPG for your convenience. Until next time, thank you for watching. Now grab that D8 and roll damage.